I still own the Nissan Altima of laptops, which is the Acer Nitro 5 right before it got that new hot summer body, uh, which we see here. Now, I do love the newer ones from so many perspectives, which I'll address in a bit. And on top of that, just like any other laptop, which goes through the same process, the newer Acer Nitro 16 gets a spec bump. But this time, there is a huge change, and it's this change that will change the entire trajectory of gaming laptops. Advance Optimus. Let's talk all about it. The Acer Nitro 16 we received from Acer Malaysia uh, to do this content has the following specification. It runs on AMD Ryzen 9 7940HS processor with Radeon 780M as the discrete GPU and the NVIDIA GE Force RDX 4070 coupled with 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM and 1TB of PCI Gen 4 SSD. And yes, this laptop does have advanced Optimus. We are no strangers to Optimus, which is the technology that allowed all of us to be able to play games on battery, although at a limiting performance, and it still offers a bit of a better battery life. This solved the issue with traditional gaming laptop, which offered the inverse of Optimus, which is raw power all the time and horrible battery life. However, after years of R&D, the MUX switch happened. If you want to call it MUX, MUX, doesn't matter. I'm going to call it the MUX throughout the entire of this video. This brought some interesting experience into the equation where the advanced Optimus can be turned on and off at will. So if you need a bit of a performance out of your laptop, you can turn it off and use the full performance uncapped. But if you do want your laptop to last a little longer, you can turn it on. Now, this feature is great and an absolute game changer, if you will. But it was done manually and it lacked the seamlessness because you have to restart all the time as you turn it on and off. Now, this is where Advanced Optimus and Mux Switch pairing solve the problem. With Advanced Optimus, you can now switch between on and off or in a way scale according to your use case without the need to restart the laptop. This changed everything as it happens on the fly. Now, how much of a better battery life and experience does the Acer Nitro 16 offer with Advanced Optimus? Now, for this test, we had to use our Acer Nitro 5 as well, which we pitted against the new Acer Nitro 16 with Advanced Optimus to show the difference between what an Optimus-based laptop and what an Advanced Optimus-based laptop brings to the table. While they are not apples to apples comparison, before you all raise the pitchfork, I'm definitely going to say this because there are other factors that's going to affect the laptop in so many different ways. This is solely or purely a video to show how well Advanced Optimus is and what kind of a difference it brings to the table. Now, in our comparison, we first fully charged our laptop to about 100% and removed all the unnecessary programs running in the background and just the application that we need. Once our testing was ready, we then unplugged the charges and started our test. After we were done with the test, this is exactly what we have collected. So here's the benchmark between the Acer Nitro 16 and Acer Nitro 5 in the battery test department. Now this is to solely show how capable is Advanced Optimus as compared to your traditional Optimus based laptop, which in this case is the Acer Nitro 5. Now, Taking a closer look at the gaming score, starting off with the Advanced Optimus, you can see that the Acer Nitro 16 really, really performs extremely well by giving close to two hours of battery life, whereas the Acer Nitro 5 just offers about 38 minutes. And the 38 minutes is with Optimus because you cannot enable or disable because it's turned on by default. So if you were to compare with Without the Advanced Optimus on the Acer Nitro 16, you still get a bit of a better battery life, still at about 1 hour 41 minutes, whereas the performance with the Acer Nitro 5 remains to be the same. Now, things get a lot more exciting, especially if you plan to use your laptop for more productivity-based tasks, especially when you're out and about. And this is where Advanced Optimus shines so well. And you can see the numbers because you can get about 4 hours and 41 minutes with Advanced Optimus turned on. And even with the Advanced Optimus turned off, you still get about 4 hours, 23 minutes. That's pretty impressive as compared to the Acer Nitro 5's Optimus-only mode, which only offers you about 2 hours and 30 minutes. 
this definitely shows that how much uh, the technology improvement has come so far and with the Mark Switch and Advanced Optimus, we are definitely getting a much better battery life experience on gaming laptop this time around. Advanced Optimus is amazing. As you can see, I am ready to ditch my Acer Nitro 5 for the Acer Nitro 16. But before that, what are the other factors that does make the Acer Nitro 16 perform better? It's new, so obviously you're going to get the newer engineering that it comes along with the processor and the GPU, which is efficient, which is improved and aims to be better in every way possible. The thermals are a little bit different too, as the Acer Nitro 16 has improved fans to keep things at bay. And the design, of course, it sure did get a little thicker, but that also means you get better flow of air in and out to cool all of their components very well. We did, of course, do the usual benchmarks uh, we do with the Acer Nitro 16, ranging from Cinebench, PC Mark, and 3D Mark, which you can actually take a look now. Anything else interesting about the Nitro 16? Well, yes, obviously I'm going to go on and on about this and that has to be the design because the revamped design sure did happen a long time ago, but we still have all that goodness here. Some nice noticeable upgrades for me will be the USB 4, HDMI 2.1 and the killer Wi-Fi and Ethernet port on the laptop for ultimate gaming experience. That said, I am glad Acer is giving some level of priority to the Nitro series because it surely deserves some love, if not a lot of love. Better yet, for consumers seeking budget-friendly laptop, this is one of the options worth considering as there are many hardware configurations to choose from that fits your budget. And that's all we have to share in this video. If you love this video, give us a thumbs up. If you think this video sucked, give us a thumbs down. Tell us why you didn't like it so that we could improve in our next video. Now, until then, this is Pretty Weird signing off. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.